Hello there. How's everyone doing? I am Mr. D, and you will be having an English lesson with me today. Are you excited? I know I am. So, without further ado, let's get our lesson started. My dear boys and girls, today we will be learning about numbers. I am pretty sure that all of you are very well aware of numbers. They are everywhere, including on calendars. But do you know that there are two types of numbers? The first one is called cardinal numbers, while the other one is called ordinal numbers. What is the difference between these two types of numbers? Hmm. Well, cardinal numbers are used when we try to tell the quantity of something. This is basically what we normally do in our lives whenever we start counting from 1 to 100 to thousands. For example, I have 10 fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 fingers. Have a look at this picture. How many oranges can you see? Is it 8 or 9? Let's count together, shall we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 oranges all together. 7? is the example of cardinal number because we have to count to know the exact quantity of these oranges. Easy, right? Unlike cardinal numbers, ordinal numbers are used to tell the position or ranking of something in a list. Ordinal numbers are commonly used during competitions or sports event. Do you remember during Harisukan Sekolah or school's annual sports day? All sports houses were fighting over being the first, second, and even third place? Well, first, second, and third are the common examples of ordinal numbers. Learning about ordinal numbers are a bit tricky. There are actually a lot for us to learn and remember. But worry not, all we need to do is practice, practice, and practice. But how to practice using ordinal numbers? The answer is very simple. You only need a calendar. Why a calendar, you may ask? You may not believe it, but we need to use ordinal numbers in telling the dates. Not these dates, but these dates. By the way, how do we tell dates? Do we say 1 January 
or 1st January. You've guessed right. The answer is 1st January. So, when telling dates, we have to use the ordinal numbers. And do you remember why is that? It's all because we are actually ranking the dates or the days. I think you are getting the hang of the lesson so far. Well done, boys and girls! Children, since we are talking about calendar, let's loosen up a bit by singing a simple song on month in a year. Jan January, February, March and April May and June, July and August, September October, November, December There are 12 months in a year Hmm, I am not sure why But I can't quite hear you Shall we sing it once more? January, February, March and April May and June, July and August, September October, November, December There are 12 months in a year Well done, boys and girls! So now, we know that there are 12 months in a year However, how many days are there in each month? Do we have the same number of days for all 12 months? To answer all these questions, I need you to clench your fists. Just like this. Okay, believe it or not, we can actually figure out the number of days for each of the month using our fists. The sharper point knuckles here means that there are 31 days while the inner point knuckles represent 30 days. Let's try. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So, using this formula, we know that there are 31 days in January, March, May, July, August, October, and December. while April, June, September, and November has 30 days. Hold on, did we miss any of the month? Hmm, oh yeah, what about February? Well, February is very special. It has 28 days on normal years and 29 days on leap years. Did I just say leap year? Does any of you know What's a leap year? Well, well, well. Leap year only happens once in every four years. During this time, there will be an additional day in February. 
which makes up to a total of 366 days in a year instead of 365. Question. Does this mean those who were born on the 29th February can only celebrate their birthday once in every four years? Well, logically speaking, yes. But at least they could always ask for a four years worth present. Chokes aside. Well, now that we've covered the number of days on each month, let's move back to the ordinal numbers found on calendars. Will you say them together with me? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, Seventh, eight, nine, ten. Now, let's test your memory. I will cover the word form of the numbers, and you have to say the numbers correctly without my help. Try to get as much correct answers as possible. Are you ready? Go! Well done, you've passed the test. But don't be too happy yet, as we have a few more to go through. Let's continue with the remaining numbers, beginning with 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 16 17 18 19 20th Well, boys and girls, it's time for us to play a game called Don't Let It Boom. All you need to do is to say the number correctly before it goes boom. So, are you ready, boys and girls? Your time starts now. Excellent job, boys and girls. That was very nerve-wracking, right? By now, you should be able to tell the dates, at least from the first of the month until the 20th. But there's a few more days to cover. Let's go! 
right after 20th, we have 21st. 22nd. 23rd. 24th. 25th. 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Oh, did you hear that? It's time for another round of game. Only this time around, you will be given a series of questions and you have to choose either one of the cartoon character. If your chosen cartoon character moves, that means you have chosen the correct answer. Well, boys and girls, did you get all correct answers? Well done! Even if you didn't get all of the questions correct, you should still give yourself a pat on your back for trying. Do you know that the word hundred is actually derived from the old Norse word hundred, which actually means hundred and twenty? not 100. In other words, there's no 100, but 120. Mind blown, right? Also, do you know that there's only one number that is spelled with the same number of letters as spelled? Can you guess what number is it? It's actually number 4. Don't believe me? Well, try to spell the number 4. And you will see that there are only four letters in four, just like the number itself. What a coincidence, right? Anyway, besides telling dates, calendars also show the important days in a year. 
some festivals have the exact fixed dates every year. For example, Christmas. Christmas is celebrated worldwide on the 25th December every year. Besides Christmas, Gawai is also celebrated on the same dates every year, which are on the 1st and 2nd June every year. Kaamatan, on the other hand, is celebrated throughout the month of May. For all Muslims around the world, we celebrate Eid Fitri on the 1st of Shawwal every year. However, unlike Christmas, the date for Eid Fitri differs every year. The same goes to Chinese New Year and Deepavali. These changes of dates happen because each of these festivals follow their own calendars such as the Islamic calendar or lunar calendar. These special days also differ from each country. For example, Malaysia celebrates Independence Day on 31st August every year, while the USA celebrates its Independence Day on the 4th July every year. Besides showing religious and non-religious related festivals, as well as celebrations of the country, we could also find awareness and appreciation related celebrations on the calendar. The most common one would be Some celebrations may not have fixed dates. For example, Mother's Day. Mother's Day is celebrated on every second Sunday of May. And Father's Day is mostly celebrated on the third Sunday in June. Which is why in 2020, Mother's Day was celebrated on the 10th May. While in 2019, it was celebrated on 12th May. Meanwhile, Father's Day in 2019 was celebrated on the 16th June and 21st June in 2020. So boys and girls, today we have learned about cardinal and ordinal numbers, month in a year, number of days, in each month, celebrations around the world. Before we end, let's recap today's lesson by reciting the ordinal numbers together. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, 8, 9, 10. Eleventh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 years. Twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, thirtieth, thirty first. That will be all for now. Until we meet again. Goodbye!